Welcome, I'm Jacqueline Edmondson and I serve as the Chancellor and Chief Academic Officer at Penn State Greater Allegheny. I love nothing more than to welcome new students to Greater Allegheny. Of course, I would typically be doing this in person. I will ask that you forgive the quality of the video. Usually when I'm making a video, I have great help with lighting and professional cameras from Zach Rosen, who works in our PR department. You'll get to know Zach pretty quickly. He attends all our events on campus and takes a lot of photos. And when you graduate from Greater Allegheny, he'll take a super headshot of you in your cap and gown. That day will be here before you know it. You probably noticed my virtual background. The tall building you see is Frable Building. That's where my office is. When you walk in the front door of Frable, you'll be in the student lounge and gallery. There's comfy furniture, charging stations, and there's artwork posted from Professor Lori Hefner's photography class. If you get a chance, be sure to take her class. You will learn all kinds of really cool things about how to take photos and create unique visual images. When you're in the lobby of Frable, you can turn to the left and you'll see my office. When you get to campus, I encourage you to stop by and say hello. I look forward to learning your name and your hopes and dreams as you begin your Penn State journey. Across the hall from my office, you'll find Milan Haskett, our Director for Admissions, and all her staff. You've already been able to meet them. We have a really awesome admissions team and they stay connected with you even after you start your studies. Down the hall from the admissions staff, you'll find Zach and Ms. Victoria Garwood, who leads our strategic planning and communications work. There's always something creative happening there. So if you are interested in communications at all, be sure to stop by and see if you can get an internship with them. And when you're in the lobby of Frable, you can turn to the right opposite of my office and go down the hallway where you'll find Dr. Erica Tashwar, who leads all of our advising um, and DUS work. Um, the advising staff is there, Kathy Hill, who's our bursar, Bob Heil, who's our financial aid officer, and our police services office. This space has so many people who are there to help you. Be sure to hang out there a little bit and get to know them. The Student Community Center has our student affairs staff, led by Director Lorraine Craven, as well as the Cafe Metro, WMKP, which is our student-run radio station, the bookstore, and a number of great places for you to hang out with friends. Another important location on our campus is Kelly Library. Andrew Marshall is our head librarian and his office is just inside the front door. He's terrific and really nice. Linda Ferris and Allison Newman are there to help you with the research and resources you need to be successful in your studies. The lower level of the Kelly Library is where you find the Gruskin Learning Center and the ACE TRIO program. Ms. Siobhan Brooks leads the tutoring center and her tutors have great expertise in all areas of our curriculum. Ms. Erica Willis leads the ACE TRIO program, which is for first generation students and students from underrepresented groups. Ms. Siobhan and Ms. Erica lead really important workshops for all students that you should attend. These focus on study skills, time management, and more. Many of those workshops are included in our first year experience. The first year experience has three components. The first year seminar is a one credit class taught by our faculty. Every student takes a first year seminar. The seminar focuses on an area of academic inquiry while simultaneously introducing you to the campus and the resources available to you at Penn State. In addition, the first year experience includes a common book that everyone entering Greater Allegheny will read. The book might be used in some of your classes. This year, the book is March. Here's a picture of the cover of it. And it tells the story of Congressman John Lewis and his memory of the civil rights movement. It's a graphic novel, so it has a lot of interesting images and words. And I know that you'll find it to be really interesting and informative. The third component of our first year experience involves the workshops and other events we encourage you to join as you begin your Penn State education. The last thing I want to share with you is about our Digital Fluency Project. Digital Fluency is a process that is much like being a fluent reader. You may remember learning how to read, how you had to figure out words and meaning, and how that could be challenging sometimes, but eventually you came to a point where you had an ease and comfort with texts. You became fluent and you were able to use texts to learn and solve problems and create new meaning. Digital Fluency is much like this. We want you to have an ease and comfort with technology and tools so that you are able to solve problems, communicate well, 
and understand the ethical implications of the tools you're using. To accomplish this, every student is provided with a free iPad and Logitech crayon. We are fortunate to have support for this initiative from donors and friends of our campus, and it is one thing that really sets us apart from other campuses and colleges. This really helped our students and faculty to pivot easily to remote teaching and learning this past spring when we were no longer able to be on campus face to face. I think I will stop talking now. As you can tell, I am so proud of Greater Allegheny and all the good work happening at our, at our campus. I am so glad to welcome you to the Greater Allegheny community, and I look forward to seeing you in person just as soon as we safely can do so. Until then, enjoy NSO, enjoy scheduling your classes for the fall semester or the summer semester, depending on when you're starting, and be in touch anytime. I really look forward to meeting you. Bye-bye.